Mr. Bill. He has a look at your forecast. Hi there, Bill. Hey, Leslie. Where were you 16 years ago? Remember this. I think a lot of you out there probably were not alive. I took this pay. I was working this night. Took the picture from the tower cam looking down at the parking lot next door. It was an Albertsons back then and it wasn't just snowing. It was a snow storm and the Christmas miracle 2004. Look at that. All right, let's see what we're oh, no no white Christmas tonight, but we are going to have a freeze warning for some of us with temperatures as low as 29, especially those of you all down near Falfurious and Hebronville. I would say if you are long or west of Highway 77, you may might prepare for a freeze tonight. More on the temperatures here in a minute. Across the country, I'll show you a couple of southern cities that usually don't get a white Christmas, but it's snowing today in Grantley, Alabama. Not a big snowstorm, but at least they're all excited. There's a little bit of snow down there. There's Grantley. There's the front that's really making a mess up and down the East Coast this afternoon. Now, talking to somebody earlier, you know, even though the Christmas star was kind of cloudy that night, but they're still pretty close together and they're still up there. So check it out. The southwest sky quarter to seven tonight. Saturn is now to the right of Jupiter. They'll be spreading apart here the next couple of days. Live picture from the tower cam looking east down Padre Island Drive. 57 right now. Never made it to 60, but look at the humidity at 18 percent. And look at these temperatures. Anybody at 60? No, nope, everybody's in the mid to upper 50s. 59 now in Robstown. You see 55 in Ingleside and 55 in Falfurious. All right. Lots of clear skies. In fact, it's going to be clear and cold on Christmas morning. We've been talking about that for a while, but a nice day tomorrow. Mostly sunny. The forecast for tomorrow afternoon and mostly sunny will be the forecast for Saturday. Next cold front coming this way. Next cold front will be here on Wednesday. It'll be late Tuesday, early Wednesday, actually, and actually getting a chance of some rain. With this front coming through again late Tuesday, early on Wednesday. So the rain chances not there over the next couple of days through the weekend, but it get into Wednesday, yeah, and we could get up to a half inch of rain in some areas if we're lucky. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see if we can get a little bit of rain before we wrap up the year. All right, low temperatures in the morning. First of all, we have the freeze line, which is uh, again mainly along and west of Highway 77. So on the 77 to the coast, we're looking at cold but not freezing temperatures. 33 here in Corpus Christi, 47 at Port Aransas, 39 at Rockport. We can see the 32s and 31s along 77 going out to the west. You get to Falfurias and Hebronville looking at 29. So here's a look at the metro area. Cal Allen, Annaville prepare for 32 at the airport, 33 west side, 34. Here on the south side, 38, downtown 37, Portland looking at 36. And then you get closer to the water, 40 in Flower Bluff, Ingleside, 39, Aransas Pass, and 47 on the island. So again, we, it's one of those uh, uh, scenarios setting up where should I bring something in? Should I protect? Go ahead and take care of it just in case, all right? Time cast for tomorrow, Christmas Day, sunny and cool with a high temperature of 68. Highs tomorrow ranging from 63 at Port Aransas, even some 70s up there in Kingsville and along Highway 281. Water temperature is 61, no advisories for the bays for the Gulf. Sun up at 719, a high tide tomorrow just past 230. And the seven day forecast, sunny and mild this weekend, looking nice. There's that front moving through on Wednesday, it looks like it's going to be a chilly New Year's Eve. All right, Bill, thank you.